what's going on everybody it's me again golden blue dude once again here on christmas day i hope you're having a merry christmas if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button we are on our way to 5,000 subscribers but we can't do it without you this video i'm going to talk about the impact of lincoln riley at usc already immediately he's already recruiting at an elite level uh, his first recruiting class was small but has a ton of quality to it now he's already landed two big time recruits in the 2023 recruiting cycle He's got the number three overall recruit and the number 21 overall recruit. Uh, but for this year, the small class, 2022, only eight recruits, but in that class, it contains the number six overall recruit and the number 60 overall recruit. Here's the thing about Lincoln Riley. He gets recruits to commit to Lincoln Riley, not to wherever Lincoln Riley is coaching. So he gets these players to buy into him literally himself players that lincoln rally recruited to oklahoma are actually following him to usc so it doesn't matter where he's coaching they're going to follow him because they're putting their trust in him now lincoln rally was asked hey what's missing at usc here's what he said usc was missing culture attitude and toughness and he claims that he will bring all of that with him to usc and he said one of the biggest key things about usc is not everybody was on the same page and he plans on everybody being on the same page while he's the coach at usc and it looks like it's already working now there were players that did hit the transfer portal but according to lincoln rally those players from usc that hit the transfer portal after he was hired didn't fit very well in what he was trying to do at usc so he only wants players that's going to fit in what he's trying to do lincoln rally is trying to bring quality back to usc so even though his first recruiting class was small he's bringing in some true quality and that's exactly what he wants to do everybody was saying that usc needed a splash hire well guess what they got it lincoln riley was definitely a splash hire usc in and of itself is a big brand we all know that but so is lincoln riley himself the coach and recruits will be drawn into that they already are being drawn to that as soon as Lincoln Riley was hired at USC, recruits that weren't showing any interest in USC all of a sudden were blowing up the phone lines. Here's the three big things that Lincoln Riley is doing. Locking down recruits that were starting to doubt in USC. Number two, getting the attention of recruits that weren't even interested. And number three, getting transfers to flip to USC. The impact of USC hiring Lincoln Riley is immediate. They didn't have to wait at all impact now i think we'll be hearing a lot about usc in the duration of lincoln rally's coaching tenure there southern cal has once again become a destination of highly touted recruits and players that have hit the transfer portal that want a chance at playing at a championship level. And I do think Lincoln Riley will have the Trojans playing at a championship level. Not only was this a great move by Lincoln Riley, but it was also a great move by USC. He knows the competition in the Pac-12 isn't all that great. And he thinks he can turn USC into the juggernaut that the Pac-12 needs. Look at all the other conferences, the SEC, Alabama, and somewhat Georgia. The Big 12, it was Oklahoma. The Big 10, it was Ohio State. This year, Michigan. The ACC, it was Clemson. And immediately when Clemson dropped out of juggernaut status, they didn't make the playoffs. Conferences need that juggernaut. And the Pac-12 is hoping, hoping that Lincoln Rally turns USC into the juggernaut. That way, the Pac-12 can get back to the playoffs. It's actually good for USC, Lincoln Rally, and the Pac-12 they might actually have a chance to get into the playoffs if Lincoln Riley can work his magic and have USC at an elite level. All right, let's look at Lincoln Riley's coaching tenure at Oklahoma, 2017 to 2021, year by year. 2017, 12 and 2, 2018, 12 and 2, 2019, 12 and 2, 2020, 9 and 2, 2021, 10 and 2. Overall, 55 and 10. You talk about consistency, that's consistency. Now here's USC in those same years. 2017, 11-3. That's a decent year. 2018, 5 and 7. 2019, 8 and 5. 2020, 5 and 1. And 2021, 4 and 8. No consistency whatsoever. And one of the biggest keys for Lincoln Rally's success is consistency. So if he can bring that consistency to USC, they could be knocking on the door of the playoffs, not just uh, every once in a while, but maybe on a yearly basis. I'm not saying they'll make the playoffs on a yearly basis, but at least knocking on the door on a yearly basis and getting in there from time to time. And I remember those Pete Carroll USC teams. Th those teams 
were juggernauts. You talk about some all-time great teams. Those were some all-time great teams, and we have not seen that in USC in a very long time. They've been decent every once in a while, but nothing like that. Could Lincoln Riley be the coach to bring USC back to what they once were? Because USC is actually a historically great football program. It's just consistency recently not there. I have no idea why they hired Clay Hell. Now, I, whenever they hired him, I was like, why did you do that? He hasn't proven anything. Oh, but he has potential. We saw potential in him. No, you didn't. Look what happened. He had a decent year every once in a while, but then a losing season? No, that's not a good coach. Look at what Lincoln Riley has done at Oklahoma. That is a good coach. And you can, you can use the argument, well, Oklahoma's in the Big 12. He couldn't do that in the SEC. Irrelevant. He's not going to the SEC. He's going to the Pac-12. So if he can do that in the Big 12 with a big brand like Oklahoma, he can do it again in the Pac-12 with a big brand in USC. USC could be the Clemson of the ACC. Their playoff hopes might hinge on the Trojan success. So a lot of hopes and dreams are hinging on Lincoln Rally. Like I said, USC and the Pac-12 getting to the playoffs. It's been quite a while. Now, whether or not they could be competitive in the playoffs once they get there, uh, I I'm not sure about that. And everybody said, you know, Clemson had an easy schedule when they got to the playoffs, but once they get to the playoffs, it's going to be tough competition. Well, they won the national championship twice, so I think USC could definitely do the same thing in the Pac-12 if Lincoln Rally can get them there. I think he's the coach that can do it, but it's never a guarantee. Lincoln Rally, though, is exactly the hire that they needed. Good hire, USC. Good hire. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next show.